Oh man, it's a warm day out again today. Kind of muggy. Grass got a real good soaking the other night. Well, the grass seed is uh, it's still in there. You can see the, I don't know if you can see little blue dots in there, but hopefully it'll start germinating here soon. Get the whole yard looking like the green patch instead of like this dead stuff, this yellow stuff is more crabgrass than what's been here once I moved in. All the green bits are my patches from all my digging. Oh, I haven't touched these for a while. To trim that off. And we'll get those sanded down a little bit today. A little resin to clean up, but nice to get that buttoned up. Ken supposedly on his way over. Maybe I'll put him to work a little bit. Got to get the gauge cluster out of this thing this weekend and blow it out and get the dirt out of it. A good little project. And uh, yeah, let's look at the shocks I got to put on the back of that thing. Let's look at the last week I got to find on the red truck. Sounds like the brother. Maybe get in his house, so we gotta get that thing prepped for a move. So that's a good moving rig as long as it's not raining. But uh, uh, where to start? Yeah, we'll get the sanding block out. We'll play with this a little bit and see what happens. Well, that went a lot faster than I anticipated. We just got the old uh, Harbor Freight DA out with some 80 grit. Blast them. Those up on top too. I'm there little. I'm not going to worry about the overall finish on those, but I do have to drill one hole back through from that license plate light. But this one popped through. I got a little thin on it, so I have to redo that one. But all the others, I mean, there's some pinholes in them, but we'll hit it with some fine grit sandpaper, 120, 180. That one's a little low. Although if I have to redo this one, I may just. That's a little low too, a little other layer or a little bit of resin in those. We're going to hit those again real quick. So, I took the tail light off there because I was working real close to it. Didn't want to scratch it all up and everything. So, didn't unplug it, just unbolted it. But, yeah. I mean, this uh, center section here came out pretty good. Like I say, we'll hit it with some fine grain sandpaper. The sandpaper I bought last week, I left on top of the Jeep and we had that na massive downpour so it soaked and ruined it so I'll have to go pick up some more. Ken's supposed to be on his way maybe we'll just run to the hardware store real quick and grab some of that. Otherwise we'll clean it up and uh, I may have some 180 grit in here somewhere. Somewhere. Dig around and see what I can find.